Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle nested frames. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly are these nested frames? Let me explain that first. Let's say there's a web page. On that web page, there is a frame. Okay, there are some web elements inside this frame, but there's one more thing that is inside this frame, there is one more frame. That means this is a HTML web page. This is a HTML web page. Inside this HTML web page, there is a one frame. We generally can call it as a parent frame because there is another frame inside this frame. So I can call this outer frame as a parent frame. And inside the parent frame, there's a child frame. And if you have a child frame inside a parent frame of the web page, we generally call these frames as nested frames. Okay. The parent frame is nesting the child frame. Hence, it can be called as nested frames. Case, okay. A frame nested inside another frame, nested frames. Now you understood what exactly are nested frames. Now, if you have to interact with the elements inside this child frame of this parent frame, right? How to do that? That I'm going to demonstrate in this session. In the previous session, I explained uh, how to handle the iframes and frames in the normal iframes and frames I covered. But uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how to handle the nested frames when there is one frame inside another frame. And in the, um, the child frame, there are some web elements that you want to interact with, with the help of Selenium automation. How to do that, that I'm going to cover in this session. I'm going to practically demonstrate that to you. I'll take this as an example, okay? This web, web page as an example, where we have the nested frame in this page. I'll copy this URL and uh, you know I'll open this browser and uh, paste the URL here and browse this. When you go to this website page, this has some details. You see, enter details, first name, last name, and email address is mentioned. I have to enter these details, okay? First, I have to enter this first name, then last name, email. Let's see how does this go. So let's switch to this PyCharm ID, where we have some Selenium Python code already written for demonstrating in the previous session examples, right? For demonstrating the previous session example, I have written this code. So I have to replace this code with the latest code. So for that, what I'm going to do is I have to copy paste this URL first of all. Okay, I'll copy paste this URL and you know, copy that URL and paste it here in the get command. So this part will open the Chrome browser. This will maximize the browser window and this will open this application URL that I opened here, which contains the nested frames. Now, after going to this page, uh, what I'm going to do is I want to, uh, you know, enter first name here. Okay, I'll inspect this. I'll inspect this first name. So I inspected that, you know, the HTML code for this, you know, first name field has been highlighted here. You see, this is HTML code for this first name field, enter name field. And uh, as you already know, this contains frames and all, it's better to use selector sub here. So that because, uh, you know, selector sub will clearly specify that this particular element is inside a frame. You can right click uh, somewhere here and, you know, uh, it's not coming up. Sometimes it doesn't come. We don't know whether, you see, it's not giving me any clue that uh, this particular fields are inside a frame. It's better to use selectors of which clearly states that uh, this particular field is inside a frame here. Okay. So I'll search here on the top to see where exactly the frame is. Here is an iframe. Okay. This is an iframe. Okay. Let's inspect it again. This is an input field and just let me slowly go up to see under which iframe it is there. This is one iframe and this is the iframe. Guys. Okay, this is an iframe. You see, there is one iframe under another iframe. There's a parent iframe, this is a child iframe. Under the parent iframe, we have the enter first name directly. Okay. Under this parent iframe only, we have this enter first name. It has an ID, guys. Luckily, we have the ID for the frame. I can use this ID to switch to this frame. I'll copy this ID and go back here. Just for demo purpose, I'm writing that trying dot sleep here. So here I'll provide the idea of this frame. Driver dot switch to dot frame of uh, you know I have to provide the idea of the frame. I'll just give double quote and paste the ID. That's the way to do. After switching to that parent frame, inside the parent frame itself, we have this first name field. So inspect that. You see this uh, this is inside the parent frame only. You see under this parent frame only we have that. And uh, this uh, first name or in uh, this first name field as the name as F name. Copy that name locator thing and come back here. After switching to the frame, here you perform the operation. That is, you write down driver dot 
driver dot find element by dot name give the name and say dot child keys and here enter the first name that is uh, just enter Arun. My name is Arun, so I'll give Arun as the first name. After entering Arun here, I want to now enter the last name. I'll inspect this last name field. Similar to the first name field, the last name field is also inside the frame. That is nothing but this uh, first frame, which is nothing but this parent frame, guys. Okay. Under this parent frame, directly we have this last name field. So already we have switched to this frame. I don't have to switch again. I simply have to inspect this last name field and you know I'll take this uh name locator of this last name field and come back here and uh, write down driver dot find element by dot name double quotes give the last name and say dot send keys i'll provide my last name as a i'll enter my last name into the here okay last name field after typing here now what i want to do here is i want to enter the email address i'll inspect this email address field and you see this is the email address field it's saying that it's inside the frame but not on the parent iframe you can see here the scroll up to see the frame under which this uh, email address is available it is under the this particular frame under this frame we have this right so let's go and select this one this is a frame okay yes okay it's getting highlighted i'm not able to understand okay this is an iframe on top of that do we have another iframe yeah this the complete you see under this we have the first name last name you can see here under this iframe, we directly have first name, last name. And under this, somewhere here, we have this. Uh, this is not the one. Okay. Just scroll down and which frame we have to see. Keep on scrolling. You see, this is a frame. There's any frame. You see, there's a child frame here, which is uh, enclosing the email. So it has a class, guys. It has a class. Yes, uh, say iframe class is there. How to construct this? Inside a frame. You see, class. With the help of class, we can do that. I'll use this as a class locator. And uh, okay, for an export expression, also we can give. So let's create an ex uh, let's create a web element for this child frame. So I'll say control here uh, for I'll copy this class attribute value and uh, you know double slash i frame at the rate here I'll give at the rate class is equal to give the class attribute value. Now you see this is got highlighted one of one. That's good. Now copy this export expression and create a web element for the child frame here. Okay, we have first switched to the parent frame. Here we have switched to the parent frame. Now to enter the email address, we have to switch to the child frame under which that email address field is available. Email address is field is on inside the child frame of the parent frame. So I'll write down here driver dot switch to dot frame of I have to give the web element. Okay. I have to create a web element for that. I'll simply say child underscore frame is equal to driver dot find element by dot x path of the frame. I created an XPath expression for the frame, right? So this child frame I'll enter here. So I'm switching to the child frame. After switching to the child frame, it's better before I enter anything into the child frame, I'll give this time dot sleep. After entering Arun Motori, right? I will give this for demo purpose. After that, I am switching to the child frame and then I want to perform the operation, guys. Okay. I want to perform this operation. That is, I want to enter my email address into this field. So when I inspect that, it has a name locator. Copy this name. Locator for the email address field. Now driver dot find element by dot name, give the name locator and simply say dots and keys. Just give dot send keys and here type down copy this paste here. Okay. And before quitting the browser, I'm giving for demo three seconds. Okay. Let's see whether this uh, we are able to accomplish this or not. Okay. So without switching to the parent frame and uh, uh, first you see here in case of nested frames, right? Uh, let's say if you have a friend and uh, you are working in this uh, room, okay? You have a house, in that house there is a room, inside that room another room is there. Now there is one friend, a neighbor friend is there who has come to your visitor house, who has visited your house like this. And now can your friend find you here at this location? No, right? The friend need to go inside your room, okay? After entering your house, uh, the, your friend will not be able to find you here directly. Then from this web page, the friend has to come to the this frame, first room, that is parent room, that is uh, in that child room is there. From here again, your friend has to come here. That means first we have to go to the page. Okay, normally we go to the page, right? When you say driver dot get, right? You will generally go to the page. Inside the page, you will not find this uh, email address field. Then we have to enter into the 
frame that is parent frame that first we have to switch to the parent frame and from this uh, page we have to switch to the parent frame we have to switch the focus of selenium from the page level to the frame level from here the focus need to be switched to the child frame from from the parent uh, the child frame will be visible and we can then switch from the page directly we cannot switch to the child frame guys okay first we have to come to the parent frame and from the parent frame we have to come to the child frame and once you come to the child frame now you can perform the operation on the web element which is inside the child frame or nested frame okay now run this code this is going to work it has to open the uh, open the browser maximize the browser open the application url where these nested frames are available first it has to enter uh, the name which is directly under the parent frame it will switch to the frame parent frame and enter first name after that last name let's wait you see first name you have entered our motor after three seconds you see it will switch to the child frame and enter my email address now it will close the browser you see it's working fine without any issues we are able to right without any issues we are able to run the code so this is how the things work okay this is how we have to handle the nested frames guys in order to uh, work with the elements which are there in the child frame which are nested by the parent frame First, from the page level, we have to switch to the parent frame, and from the parent frame, we have to switch to the child frame. Now, there's one more thing, guys. Okay, there's one more thing. Let's say you entered this, you know, you entered this email address, right? Now, I want to clear it out. Okay, I want to clear that out. How to clear that out? Here itself, I'll write after this time dot sleep. I'll simply say driver dot uh, the same thing, guys. Okay, the same thing. This part I'll take. Okay, and uh, here I'll write down dot clear. Like this, I'll write down. Okay, it will clear the text. Now, after clearing the text, what I want to do is I want to go to the parent frame. I want to go to go back to the parent frame, and I want to clear the text here. Okay, when I am in the child frame, I can clear. I cannot clear the text, right? You see, when you are inside this room, for example, you went into this child frame. When you are here, can you clear the things here? Can you do any activities here? No, right? Again, you have to go back to the parent frame and then perform the operations here. And if you have any elements here, again, you have to go to the page level and perform the operations here. Like that, it will be there, right? So you have to go to the appropriate frame and then perform the operation. Now, in, if I want to clear the email address, already I am there in the child frame, I cleared it there itself. Now, if I have to clear this first name, last name, then what I have to do, I have to switch back to the parent frame. From the child frame, I have to go back to the parent frame. How to go back? Driver dot, switch to dot, there's a command known as parent frame command, okay? Dot parent frame. When you write down this one, it will take you directly to the parent. From the child frame, you'll be taken back to the parent frame, okay? After switching back to the parent frame, now you can perform the operation right, like this, okay? These two statements you copy paste. These elements are in the parent frame. And now simply I'll say dot clear. Just to save time, I'm writing this like this. Dot clear. I copy paste it just to save time, okay? First name will be cleared, last name will be cleared. Now, after clearing this, let's say, okay, after clearing this, let's say, you know, uh, I want to inspect this entire details and see where exactly it is. It is inside a frame or it's also inside a frame. I can't do anything. This frame heading, where is this frame heading? You see, it's not inside the frame. I want to get this uh, page, uh, H1 tag, that is the heading of this page I want to get. I want to retrieve this frame and uh, frame heading and print in the output console. So for that, this frame is not either in the child frame or in the parent frame. Currently, we are at the uh, parent frame level. Okay, from the child frame, we have switched back to the parent frame. Now, but that heading, that frame page head, uh, page heading that is frame heading is not there in the parent frame also. So I have to switch to the page level. From parent frame, how to switch back to the page level? For that, there's one more command, guys. I'll just give time dot sleep here. For three seconds and you know for demo purpose and uh, here i'll write down driver dot switch to dot default content other command we have is a default content which will take your no matter where where which frame you are okay whether you are in the child frame or parent frame doesn't matter you will be directly taken to the pay, uh, page level okay no matter in which room you are directly you will be taken to the your house kind of thing okay so in this example from the child frame, you can directly go to the page level. From the parent frame, also you can directly go to the page level. For both the things, we have to use a command known as default content. Okay. So on the child frame level, also you can come here, or from the parent frame level, also you can. No matter how many frames are there, if you want to come to the page level, simply switch back to the default content. That is nothing but default page, guys. Okay. After going there, I want to retrieve that page heading text. 
that is uh, i need to inspect this and uh, create an element now i'm at the my selenium focus is at the page level not inside any frame so you see i have to do something here so if i say control a for double slash h1 one of two is coming so not good with that so is there anything okay do you i think we can go with this hero body kind of thing control f double slash q at the rate class okay, sorry typing it here here i'll write down at the rate class is equal to give that hero body and double slash h1 i'll say in this h1 now one of one is coming and this heading text is coming so this xpath expression is locating this uh, frame heading i'll retrieve the text between this text so for that, I'll go back here and you know, I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot x path and give the x path expression and say dot text. Okay, I want to give I want to retrieve the text between the text and uh, page heading. I'll say page heading is equal to now I'll simply write down system dot out dot print system dot out dot print Oh, sorry, I'm writing Java, right? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll write print statement, okay? So I keep switching between the programming language. Sometimes I forget, I mean, Python, no? So in Python, we have to use normal print statement, okay? Print in double quotes, I have to give. Not in double quotes, directly you can give page heading, okay? Now, after retrieving this, uh, you know, I'm quitting the browser, guys, without any delay. Let me run this code, it should work. You see, from page level, we are going to the parent frame. From the parent frame, after performing the operations, we are going to the child frame. After performing the operations, uh, we are coming back to the parent frame and after performing the operations, we are coming back to the, you see, after typing here, we will switch to the child frame. Then after three seconds, it will clear this particular text. Then it will switch back to the parent frame and clear these two fields. And after three seconds, it will uh, go to the page level and retrieve the page heading and close the browser. So it's able to do. Okay, this is how we have to handle the nested frames in Selenium Python. So that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, I'm going to practically show you how to handle parent child already parent and child are handled here there's one more type of frames known as sibling frames that concept i'm going to cover in the next session okay how to handle parent child and sibling frames i'm going to cover in the next session guys but that's all for this session i completed the nested frames in this session see you in the next session thank you bye